let's take a look at the key itself. This little hole is where you tie a lanyard, so it can be easily worn around your neck or on your lapel. On the right side, there's a tiny little button. This is a computer lock button. If you press it, it will lock your computer. Finally, on the back is the battery door. It slides down to open, and inside you'll find the slot for a battery. Also underneath the battery door is the unit's serial number. Take note of the last five digits of this serial number, because this is your temporary PIN number, and we will use it during setup. Let's set up your gatekeeper for the first time. Don't worry, it's quick. First, make sure your gatekeeper has a battery inside it. Then, bring it to your work computer. On your computer, you'll notice a new lock screen entitled Gatekeeper Login. It'll ask you for a PIN. Here, type in your temporary PIN number. That's the last five digits of the serial number. And hit Enter. Now that the computer has identified the gatekeeper, it will ask you to set a new gatekeeper PIN. In the first field, retype the temporary number, the five-digit serial number. And in the second field, create a new PIN number for yourself. Make this PIN personal and unique, and make sure you memorize it and never share it. And then press Enter. Then click OK. You'll be asked to update your credential. In other words, Gatekeeper wants to know the password that currently unlocks your computer. Go down to the password field and type in your Windows password. Press Enter and your computer should unlock. Ta-da! You've done it. Gatekeeper has now learned your Windows password. And now, whenever you want to unlock your computer, you'll use your PIN number instead. Let's double check to make sure it works. We're going to lock your computer and unlock it again. To lock it, press the little button on the side of the gatekeeper, and your computer should lock. Then type in your customized PIN, and your computer should unlock. Voila! You're all set up.